BM Scotty's Tilescapes, the isometric terrain system. Craft them all. Wow your friend. Hey crafter, welcome back to Tilescapes. Now today we're gonna do the cat we did the cavern passages, right? Our last video. This time we're gonna do the kind of cavern arches. So they're like caveway arches. Uh, that'll be, you can use in your caverns to give it kind of a 3D feel, like that isometric 3D feel. So let's hit the table and I'll show you how quick, cheap, and easy it is to make these cavern arches. <laughs> All right, crafters, we got a cardboard arch I cut out, and I just cut all these little random cardboard pieces, and this is just regular corrugated cardboard, and I'm going to start hot gluing these pieces on the edges, okay? And this will kind of give me my random kind of stony look, all right? And I'll do the other side, too, all right? Now I've got that done, I'm going to kind of fill that corrugation in with my hot glue. This is a super cheap project, and really the only cost in this is the, the glue you're going to use on it. So you're going to see we use a lot of glue. So I'll just fill the corrugation in. Now that's hardened up, I'm going to start putting some texture on the rocks around the edge here. And start building that up to the other side. And now that's hardened up, nice texture. Now I add a little another, uh, another layer of texture, actually. And, uh, yeah. Looks great. Now I've got an inch wide uh, piece of cardstock, and I'm going to kind of rough up the edge a little bit so it's not just a straight uh, shoot, so it looks a little more stony there. And then I'll just uh, measure it, make sure it fits, and then hot glue it to that uh, piece, and that'll be the base. Couldn't be easier or cheaper. Now if that's hardened up, I'll cut that, round it off, round off the edges there. And uh, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure this is attached well to the base, of course. And then after that, I do that, I'm going to put some glue on the cardstock itself, and that'll harden it up. And I'm just going to kind of drag my nozzle over there. I, I just want a thin layer of this. I don't want it to obstruct uh, the tiles in play. I spray painted it flat black. And look at that great texture popping out. That is so awesome. Just cardboard and hot glue. That's all that is. I'm going to start adding some brown and tan, or uh, burnt sienna and tan. Kind of stipple that on there. And then I use my sponge and start putting some gray on. And I really want to kind of get a blend while it's wet uh, of these colors. It gives a nice kind of stone uh, color. You know, it gives a nice uh, cavernous kind of brownish gray, right? I'm just fill in some areas I missed with the sponge since there's so much uh, height on these some of these pieces. There we go. Cool. Make sure to check out Tilescapes number 30 to see the cavern passages uh, video. These are the cavern arches that kind of define the isometric space. So let's take a look at some of our cavern arches. Here we go. We have different sizes. And they got Roderick and Hilga here for scale. So here's a standard kind of arch. And I really like that the coloring, the texture uh, looks great. Just super easy. And they're really tough. They're really hard. Uh, so these things are not going to break or bend or anything. And uh, here's a lar much larger archway. So I just really like that detail on there. It looks great. And here's another one I did, a uh, similar technique, uh, but uh, I just did a little different. I did a very circular, and then I did some uh, rubble and stuff in the front and on some of the rocks. So that's another technique you can add to this uh, to uh, spruce it up a bit or do a ch make it look a little different than the others. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed these cavern archways. And take it away, Hilga Hornblower. Here we are in the crafting hole. Crafty, crafty hole. Crafty, crafty hole. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Crafty, crafty hole. <laughs>